Hey guys and welcome back to Microsoft Office Excel How To's. So I'm looking at the Super Slick Chapstick data file and what I did was I pre-populated this um, this worksheet with another tab inside of our workbook and I just took it from our raw data table that we have over here on the far left hand side from our raw data. So first thing I wanted to go over was really simple but something that needs to be called out is naming a tab inside of your workbook. So say I wanted to make this, say I wanted to delete this and make it sheet one. All you have to do is hover over top of it and you're going to get your mouse double click it and it's going to highlight what the word or what the uh, the tab is going to be named. In this one I'm going to teach you three simple formulas using this data and I'm going to they're called left, right, and concatenate. Now, why are these three important? So if you're working with large data sets, sometimes you need unique identifiers or sometimes you need to only grab the first five or so or three or so pieces of data from the left or the right and I'm going to show you how to use those. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you concatenate. So concatenate is pretty special. Um, what it does is it basically takes two cells and it merges them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this information and I'm just going to show you what the concatenate looks like. So let's say that I wanted to concatenate the tracking number and the pack size. Now say Say three of these are five packs, some of them are three packs, and some of them are six packs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate these tracking numbers to the pack size, so now I have a unique identifier. So first, to start the concatenate formula, I'm going to hit equal sign to start my formula, the formula. And I'm going to put concat and I'm going to start to type concatenate see how the drop down menu said join several text strings into one text string basically combining two two pieces of data together so to use that I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab first thing you need to do is you need to grab what your first unique identifier is so say let's use the tracking number next to separate that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit comma to add in my next text and then I'm going to add in the pack size. If I hit enter, Excel knew to combine those two. So it's grabbing A2 and B2. Say I wanted to fast fill all of this. This is pretty simple. There's your fill handle. If I double click that, it, Excel took that data and basically said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that format. I'm going to fill it all the way down. Pretty easy, right? Next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the left function. Left basically grabs your how many ever pieces of data are inside the cell. And it, and it starts grabbing it from the left hand side of the cell. So to start this formula, we're going to go ahead and hit an uh, equal sign again. We're going to start to type left. Excel does a good job at identifying what I'm about to type, but you have to be careful what you pick because if it's not the right formula or if it's not the right piece or the right wild card, it's going to give you a bad, it's going to give you a bad formula. But again, Excel drop-down returns a specified number of characters from the start of a text string, aka the left-hand side of a cell, and it returns back only the data that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab. 
it's going to ask me where I want to start pulling that information from. So, in this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull it from, let's just do the product type. So, oh, and by the way, to move or to select what cell you would like, on your arrow keys or you can use your mouse, you can go ahead and click that cell and just literally travel to wherever you need to go. So I'm going to pick the, obviously the first one. Next, I'm going to hit comma. It's going to ask me how many characters I want to bring over. So say I want to bring the word super over. So that's one, two, three, four, five letters. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the number five. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it brought over super. Now you can probably guess what right is going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and, and show you anyway. So here we're going to do right. There it is. And again, Excel knew what, um, what function I wanted to use. So again, I'm going to go ahead and find the text that I wanted to do. So say I want to grab the unique tracking number. So I want to grab four, five, five, six, seven, three. So I need to grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Those, oops, I didn't put my comma in. I'm going to grab the six number or the six numbers, and it grabbed all those unique numbers. I'm going to go ahead and hit the fill handle again, and it populated all those. So there's three unique functions that you can use inside of Excel to basically take out data from certain cells that you want to use to either make data or use that data to build other data and and just to basically take all the bits and pieces of your form or of your data and combine them, grab what you need, do VLOOKUPs sometimes you'll you'll have to copy and paste that stuff out but these formulas with the concatenate left and right functions these are really simple to use and it grabs the data quickly and you're able to use the fill handle to grab that data as quickly and effectively so that's good for this video uh, if you guys have any questions obviously uh, just go ahead and comment below or if you have a question on the video also leave a comment for me um, like and share the videos on these pages and if you and obviously take the time to share it with someone that you may find this useful thanks guys we'll see you at the next one